My name's Simon Wangura. I'm an electrical apprentice for Select. Before I started this, I was in full-time education, uh, still at secondary school. So I was 16 when I first applied for this apprenticeship. I knew logically, after you leave school, you want to start making money. So I saw this was the best option to be learning as well as earning money. When I get older and my kids are living in this area, I'll be able to say, yeah, I worked on that. I'm definitely a lot more confident in myself as opposed to I would have been when I left school. Um, so yeah, I think it's built upon my confidence in quite a big way. We've got 22 apprentices currently on the project, uh, so it's a really nice mixed bag of some really enthusiastic, high potential individuals. Beyond the build, there's going to be lots of really vibrant, diverse businesses coming and we're going to create somewhere in the order of 200 apprenticeship opportunities. And what's great is the relationships we've already forged with the LLDC is going to play a massive part in ensuring that there's a really great opportunity for apprenticeships here in the future. What you have to do, you have to log different games. If there's a bad tackle or a good goal or someone in the crowd doing something that's funny, you have to highlight the key moment and from that it gets sent on to the production team. Growing up, all my heroes were like sporting figures. You know, you walk down the corridor, you just see Paul Scholes walking, walking like next to you and it's like, he's your colleague sort of thing. We have six apprentices, which we're very proud of. There's no better way to learn a trade than to actually work. Um, within that job, um, within the environment that's BT Sport and what they've brought to the team has, has been really special. We're at one of the biggest sports providers in the whole of UK. It's got the biggest studio in Europe. So we're in a great place to learn. You know, it will help us in our career because we've got like a credible source that we've come from. Before the Olympics came around, none of this was here. It's brought many more jobs for people and apprenticeships especially has helped a lot of young people. When you move to Stratford, you need to ensure that you give opportunity to the community you're moving into, and we're absolutely committed to creating those opportunities. Yeah, it's an interesting place to work. You've got quite a few different buildings going up, different structures. It's given me more and more confidence. It's given me the ability to complete something. It's just motivated myself a bit more to go out and do something. Hopefully, within five, ten years' time, I want to be working with a good, well-known company, working my way up through supervisor, manager, project manager. Before I was kind of bouncing from thing to thing, I've done A-levels, I've done courses, but I was working full-time for a bit and then I came across the apprenticeship. It was something new and I've always enjoyed swimming, so I thought it would be a great way to get into the leisure industry. Since being here, I've kind of seen what pathway I want to go down. Like eventually, I want to study paramedic science and that's from being here, being around first aids. So it's kind of given me an insight into what I want to do in the future. We need to nurture our own talent, we need to open our doors and we need to feel like we're part of the community. But also it's the best connected public transport site in Europe. Access to talent is great, plus the way the area is developing all combines to make this a really special site. And apprentices are a really important part of the, the industrial fabric, if you like, of the park going forward. So with new museums, new art galleries coming onto the site as well, new universities coming onto the site, opportunities for young people in the next five, ten years, I think are going to be as great here as in any other part of the UK. The opportunity was to study a master's course. So when I heard about it, I just went straight for it. It was aimed at people in the East London boroughs. I've made some really major connections here. I want to make an impact in my society. I want to open my own broadcasting company one day. I feel like this will make me stand out. We had a Legacy Youth Board meeting about uh, the master plan of the UCL East Campus that's going to be here and I knew that I wanted to go into a job where I could facilitate the type of consultation on the panel. So through that I got to have six weeks working with soundings over summer and it was amazing. Olympicopolis is the name that we give to this cluster of universities and cultural institutions that are coming into the very heart of the park. They're coming because I think they sense in East London and amongst East Londoners clues to their future. It means that we're able to connect um, to a whole range of industries within East London in particular because obviously East London has this great history and that's really what the Olympic Park is presenting. It's opening up what the definitions are of creative education in the 21st century. When you take a kind of a young, eager population of, of young people who want to grasp opportunity 
and you put in the midst of them these global institutions, that's really exciting. I would definitely recommend an apprenticeship, especially to young people. It's a great way to get into work and you've got a lot of support around you at the same time. I enjoy coming to work every day. and There's much more things to look forward to in the future, which I'm proud to be a part of. I get to tell people about the long-term legacy that's going to happen here and making sure that it's going to cater for them because they're the ones that are going to be living in it day in and day out. Definitely made me feel confident. It made me feel like if I set myself a target, I can do it. I love this place so much. I can sleep here.